Imagine a sun-soaked day in 1776, where a small but fiercely determined band of American rebels on Sullivan's Island faced down the mighty British Empire in a battle that wasn't just about territory, but the very essence of liberty. Today, we delve into a lesser-known but crucial episode in the Southern theater of the Revolutionary War, the Battle of Sullivan's Island. This engagement on June 28, 1776, saw American forces, under the leadership of Colonel William Moultrie, defend the strategically vital Sullivan's Island against a powerful British naval and amphibious assault. Join us as we explore the intricate details of this pivotal moment, from its strategic significance to the resilience of American resistance and the lasting impact it had on the course of the Revolutionary War. Before we embark on this historical journey, ensure you're subscribed to Everything History for more in-depth explorations of significant historical events. Sullivan's Island, a sandy barrier island at the entrance to Charleston Harbor, South Carolina, held immense strategic importance during the Revolutionary War. In the early stages of the conflict, control over key coastal locations was vital for both American and British forces. The British, under General Sir Henry Clinton, recognized Sullivan's Island as a crucial point for establishing dominance in the southern colonies and securing a base for military operations. The Battle of Sullivan's Island unfolded against this backdrop, making it a linchpin in the broader southern theater. The British strategy aimed at gaining control of the harbor to facilitate naval operations and provide a launching pad for land campaigns in the southern colonies. General Clinton's forces believed that securing Sullivan's Island would pave the way for British dominance in the south. The American colonies, however, were not about to yield their strategic positions without a fight. Colonel William Moultrie, a seasoned officer and a veteran of earlier conflicts, assumed command of the American forces defending Sullivan's Island. Moultrie's leadership was characterized by a pragmatic understanding of the local terrain and a keen sense of the resources at his disposal. The composition of the American forces was diverse, reflecting the makeshift nature of the colonial military. South Carolina troops, militia, and Continental soldiers all contributed to the defense effort. The American defenders faced a formidable British fleet led by Sir Peter Parker and ground forces commanded by General Clinton. Moultrie's ability to unite and coordinate this diverse force was critical to the success of the American defense. The Battle of Sullivan's Island showcased the adaptability and resourcefulness of the American forces. Moultrie's decision to construct a fort using palmetto logs proved ingenious. The palmetto wood, with its spongy nature, absorbed the impact of cannonballs, rendering the fort surprisingly resilient against the British naval bombardment. This resourceful approach highlighted the colonial force's ability to make strategic use of local materials to create effective defenses. The fortification on Sullivan's Island, later named Fort Moultrie in honor of the commander, played a pivotal role in the American defense. In the midst of the battle, the blue flag of the Moultrie Crescent, adorned with a defiant white palmetto tree, flew high over the fort. This symbol of resistance and local pride became an iconic representation of the fort and the battle itself. The fort's construction and its symbolic flag underscored the spirit of defiance that characterized the American forces at Sullivan's Island. The Battle of Sullivan's Island, unfolding on June 28, 1776, commenced with the arrival of the British fleet led by Sir Peter Parker. The British strategy involved a combined naval and ground assault, aiming to overwhelm the American defenders and secure control of Sullivan's Island. The British forces, equipped with a formidable naval fleet and experienced ground troops, appeared poised for success. As the British fleet closed in on Sullivan's Island, the American forces, stationed behind the protective walls of Fort Moultrie, braced for impact. The British naval bombardment began, with cannonballs raining down on the fort. However, the ingenious construction of Fort Moultrie, utilizing palmetto logs, proved to be a tactical advantage. The American defenders, under Colonel Moultrie's leadership, maintained their positions within the fort, weathering the storm of the British naval assault. The resilience displayed by the American forces, coupled with the effectiveness of Fort Moultrie, frustrated the British attempts to quickly overpower the defenders. Recognizing the fort's unexpected durability and the tenacity of the American resistance, 
The British ground forces led by General Clinton initiated a land assault. The British troops, however, faced challenging terrain and determined American defenders. The combination of the natural obstacles and the spirited defense presented by the American forces disrupted the British advance. As the battle unfolded, the American forces faced a critical moment. General Hugh Mercer, leading a contingent of American troops outside the fort, found himself engaged in fierce combat with British forces. The confrontation intensified, and Mercer unfortunately suffered severe wounds. His sacrifice, however, did not go in vain, as it became a rallying point for the American forces, further fueling their determination to repel the British. In a bold and audacious move, Colonel Moultrie and his men executed a strategic retreat, luring the British forces into a position where they were exposed to the full force of the American defenses. The shifting dynamics of the battle, combined with the unexpected durability of Fort Moultrie, created a turning point. In response to the unexpected resilience of the American defenders, General Clinton made the decision to withdraw all British forces to New Brunswick, closer to New York City, this retreat marked a significant reduction in the British military presence in New Jersey and the southern colonies. The withdrawal was a strategic recalibration in the face of the challenges posed by the American resistance, particularly at Sullivan's Island. The victory at Sullivan's Island provided a significant morale boost for the American forces, particularly those in the southern colonies. The successful defense demonstrated that the American colonies could resist British military might, even in the face of a formidable naval and amphibious assault. This morale boost was not only essential for the troops directly involved in the battle, but resonated throughout the region, inspiring confidence in the revolutionary cause. The Battle of Sullivan's Island had broader implications for the southern theater of the Revolutionary War. It disrupted British plans for swift dominance in the region and forced a re-evaluation of their strategies. The strategic impact of the battle reverberated beyond the immediate theater. It showcased that the American colonies were not only willing to fight, but also capable of mounting effective defenses against a powerful adversary. This sent a powerful message to both sides of the conflict, influencing subsequent military strategies and shaping the course of the Revolutionary War. Colonel William Moultrie's leadership during the Battle of Sullivan's Island was instrumental in the American victory. His tactical acumen, strategic decisions, and ability to inspire and coordinate a diverse force were crucial elements of the successful defense. The fort, later named in his honor, stands as a testament to Moultrie's leadership and the importance of local commanders in the early stages of the Revolutionary War. Moultrie's recognition extended beyond the battlefield, the Continental Congress acknowledged his contributions, and the fort on Sullivan's Island became a symbol of American resistance. Moultrie's leadership at Sullivan's Island was not just about tactical decisions, but also about instilling a sense of pride, resilience, and determination in the face of a powerful adversary. If you enjoyed exploring the Battle of Sullivan's Island and the intriguing stories of the Revolutionary War, be sure to subscribe to Everything History for more explorations of significant historical events.